Jason, hi. Um, it seemed a bit card dead uh, towards the end of the uh, and then that final table. How did it, how did it go for you? Uh, yeah, it was pretty rough. Like, uh, couldn't really catch hand spots. Um, almost pulled the trigger a couple times, but I think I, I made the right fold uh, to Praz and yeah, just uh, didn't really feel so good about uh, things near the end. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like when I get my money in bed. It's not, it's not fun. Absolutely, yeah. Well, that's one of the things I was thinking about. You, 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 you definitely made that decision two or three times. You're like, shall I, shall I push here? Shall I push here? You, you, I could see you, you were thinking about it a couple of times. But I guess that's the trouble, isn't it? When you're, when you're feeling a bit card dead, you're like, right, I've got to make a move soon. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't even imagine folding sevens in that spot. Uh, yeah, sure. But uh, I think it's definitely the right shove. Uh, it's the right play to shove, but um, yeah, it's just unluck That's unlucky. That's the way it goes, yeah. yeah. So tell me about that actual setup. I mean, obviously you had Kras Banzi to your knees left, and then... Yeah, I really him. think that kind of screwed me uh, for the day. Uh, Praz is like a really good player. Um, I even said that he was like the person that I uh, feared the most at the table. Um, he played really well. I don't think he made many mistakes, if any. And um, yeah, I mean, he has a good chance to win it if, uh, if he can catch some hands against Negroni. Sure. Just, just out of interest, why, why above Negroni? Um, I don't know. I, I think that uh, Praz is playing like really, really well. That's well, he seems to I can be say. betting and raising a lot. He's putting everyone on a decision. And yeah. When you get to that kind of situation and you've got, as I say, Negreanu and you've got Banzi and you've got people like that on, on the table, what, what's your strategy? You just like, hope, I mean, you can't I've, really outgun them. I have you? no strategy. Just do whatever I feel like. Um, no, I just like try to make the best decision I can, most uh, plus EV decision, and uh, just hope it works out. And in comparison with your other, um, well, the other ones were wins, of course, in the high roller and the uh, and the bracelet. I mean, where does this rate for you? As, as not not this particular place, but the WSOP Europe and uh, amongst the EPT high rollers and the WSOP in Vegas. What do you think of this event? And um, like the what? But like my result or just? Not your result. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah uh, I thought this was uh, it was much better than it was last year. Uh, it was uh, run a lot better than it was last year. Um, everything uh, ran smoothly. It was a real well done event. I uh, really enjoyed playing uh, this event and the PLO. Sure. And uh, I'll probably come back next year. Cool. One last question for me personally, because I'm an Omaha player, and you won the Omaha this year at the WSOP. Mm -hmm. um, what do you feel about Omaha? Do you feel that there's kind of more dead money or worse players in Omaha at the World Series, or do you feel, do you feel Hold'em's being found out at all? Or? Um, yeah, of course. Hold'em uh, hold has gotten tougher every year, pretty much since 2005. Um, and PLO is the most fun game there is in poker, so um, people are going to discover it eventually, if they haven't already, and uh, hopefully it gets a lot bigger. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. No problem. Jason Mercer. Cheers, mate.